Workbench recently wrote a report on the accessibility of microservices and how it decreases the difficulty of building custom software tailored specifically for a business's needs, rather than utilizing software as a service. This report paints an apparently bleak future for software as a service companies. Could it be telling the whole story, or is there more to it? Well, according to Inc.com, they wrote an article to refute this claim and make some great points as to why software as a service has a, will always have a future. The first point they make is microservices and containers allow for them to be more productive with fewer programmers. Being a company that specializes in these products, software as a service companies will be better equipped to utilize these tools and create the program that the business is looking for. They also pointed out that creating software may have gotten easier but it still isn't easy. From having to write the code to debugging the code, the whole process can be grueling, and oftentimes you feel like butting your head against the wall. Software as a service companies will again specialize in this, and people who do it on it, and will have people who do it on a daily basis. It will most likely be less expensive to pay the licensing fees than it would be to hire one or two full-time programmers to create, test, and maintain your business software. The next point is, sometimes it just does not make sense. This is especially true if your problem is not unique and has been taken care of in some way by an existing piece of software. It would not make sense to write a redundant program to solve an issue that has already one or even two solutions out there. And the final point they make, to quote them directly, businesses that use such services have an if it ain't broke, don't fix it rationalization for staying with what they know. If the business is already using the software, chances they will continue using it. They already know the software, their employees already know the software, and it would cost more money for training than it would just to maintain the current contract with these companies. I do not believe that we are looking at the extinction of a service, but the evolution of it. Software of service has such a broad definition already that it would be ridiculous to think that there won't be a place for it in the near or even distant future.